Hi everybody, so today we're going to be doing some mi goreng uh, using grill with a wok in the grill. Okay, uh, this is a Weber grill with the GPS system, but if you have another grill with the same GPS system, you can still use this Weber wok inside here. Alright, the reason is being when you remove the third piece of the grill, you put in the wok, the wok, the bottom of the wok is closer to the heat. Alright, but before we start anything, we need to preheat, always we need to preheat the grills or whatever we use, alright? So the wok is in there, preheat the grills at high temperature, close the lid, <coughs> this will be in here for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, after 15 to 20 minutes, we will lower down the heat to medium heat. That is when we, we can start to put our mee goreng in the wok. Alright, so now let us get to the ingredients that we are going to use for the mee goreng. So for our mee goreng, the ingredients will be 180 grams to 200 grams uh, yellow noodles. Alright, depending on how much you can eat. We have some chopped garlic, one egg, some hard bean curd, tomatoes, fish cake, and some sabi or choy sam or English they call it mustard vegetables. And then for the sauce, we have oyster sauce, some chili giling, chili paste, and maybe about one quarter or one third of a teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of water. Okay? The ingredients that you like to put into your fried noodles is very subjective. You can put in any other things that you like, for example, shrimps or squid or even chicken if you want to. Alright? But what I'm using here is what I will have left or balance in my fridge right now so to make a complete dish alright so with this the grill is hot the wok is hot we are going to start to cook the noodles in the wok in, uh, which is going to be in the grill okay so come let's, let's start with the mee goreng okay. so once your grill is ready preheated for 20 minutes it's always a high temperature I lowered all three burners to medium heat alright not too hot Open the lid, pour in maybe about one tablespoon of one tablespoon cooking oil. Alright, egg goes in first. Then I'll put in the garlic and the vinegar. Stir fry until the egg is dry. Next, I'll put in the water. Then the oyster sauce, chili paste, and salt together. Making it into a paste. Alright, give it a nice stir. Next, I will put in all the other ingredients the fish cake, the tomato, and the sawi. Give it a stir. Alright, at this current moment, you can start to smell the garlic and the egg. Alright, it's very good. All nicely stirred up. Last but not least, we're going to add in the yellow noodles. Give it a nice stir. The water is so that we need to steam the noodles a little bit because these noodles are still raw. Alright, we do not lunch noodles beforehand. Alright. Stir until it's even. At this point, what I like to do is I'll close the lid for maybe about one to two minutes. Alright, before I remove the noodles. Alright, so it's the noodles have been in here in the wok for two minutes already, right? So I'll be opening it up, give it a stir. As you can see, the noodles are already soft. Alright, it's cooked and nicely steamed ready. Okay, and dry it up. 
give it a last stir. Make sure everything is even. Alright. And we are going to spoon it into the bowl. Alright. So we have here already plated our mee goreng. I'm going to finish it with some sliced spring onions and one kalamansi lima kasuri. Okay, that's it for our mee goreng, right? But there's one thing that I would like to add here: the walk that you just saw just now. The Weber wok is not only a wok, it's a wok and steamer. So it comes with a steaming basket and a cover. Alright, you put this into the wok with the water at the bottom, with water at the bottom. When you pre it, the water will be boiling, you can steam other things here. For example, your mantau or <laughs> whatever you need to steam, I can't think of it right now. So basically, it's two in one, it's called the Weber wok and steamer using the GPS system. Okay, uh, I'll be coming back for another recipes. Until then, enjoy your cooking.